Hi guys, so if you know me, you know that enrichment is something really important for me and today we will talk about enrichment and why is it important and I will show you multiple examples here at, in the room where all the reptiles are and you will understand why is it important to use enrichment for your snake. Let's go! So, I will go to the most simplistic way of doing it. This enclosure is empty when I'm filming this, but when this video will be out, normally it won't anymore. But we'll see, maybe a video about it. So, what is the most simplest, simplistic way of doing it? What about hide? branch that's it that's pretty just there is no water wall is no height but imagine it this is the most simplistic way of making enrichment what do i call enrichment enrichment is something like a branch to make your snake climb like a like type of substrate that's not paper towel where they can dig in it and doom where there is humid places where there is drier places or whatever where they can go in it like here there like you know different type of hides or hides that are a different texture than the branch like the branch like the thing like the cork like the thicker like the all uh, the old stuff this is pretty basic type of enrichment if you want then you go on, I will show you it, that will be better that way, I will show you, then you go on something more, you know, this is quite simplistic and there's a lot more. Then what you have is also something really simplistic, this is actually what I, what I talked about just before, it's this thing here, so there she is normally, or maybe hiding another way nope she's maybe here and there or she's digging she dig but this is also something very really simplistic you know you have these with plants and stuff so this is the really basic stuff this is the most basic I have so you have you can see and then I will do that into this one this enclosure when she will be ready for to move in it so what is ready to move in it it's to be big enough to not go here not go in between here because i made it myself and i made it like i'm not someone with i'm someone super like not kind of guy that will make a lot of stuff with his hand then you go on my enclosures here these the others so this these two are the same type if you want this more simplistic way I'm not super happy with it but that's pretty itself so we got here the hide some plants some cork branch stuff this is like enclosure wise also simplistic I don't try to have super elaborated stuff no, I want something that works easy, that works great. But giving climbing opportunities, giving you know the height, the cork, the plants, substrate, etc. What does that mean? What does that do? Is actually when when they they will mess around the whole enclosure, you know. Going that way and that way and that way and that way they will use their brain because not, it's not all flat like here for example like here right now it's not all flat no, shit, that. it's you know a big mess what, what we can call a big mess because there's that cork they can go under it they can go up they can go down they can go around it you know, same here for the height, whether that height is simple, simple. You know, you have the big water ball here, 
one thing go in it, they can go around it, they can, the branch is the same, etc. And what does that do? Well, not they, they ate, so they are just chilling a bit. I don't know if you will see that, but they are just chilling in it. It's the, what does that do is that they will use their brain to know what's the best way they want to go. And also, it assures assure you that your snake will have a good body condition because what you can see with snakes that aren't so, that are eating that much because they eat a lot for snakes. Well, they eat a lot for a lot of all python guys. They eat a lot, but they they move a lot. So this is different, you know. If I had to feed my snakes the same way. But they had that type of enclosure, or even worse, no branch and just flat out thing. It won't be the same, also. Here is our little guy. He didn't eat because he ate a very, very large meal two weeks ago. And he's super excited. So here he is. So he is the guy, he is like using a lot of the actual place here more than out etc you know and while you know he's in this hide he's in this hide he's in the cork he's on the branch and all that stuff you know and he was the digging snake there when they were when there was the digging place so he is also a quite demonstrative snake and also that's also something to consider giving enrichment it's because you see your snake's personalities more than you would and that's something really interesting because when you see your snake being curious being you know inquisitive etc a lot more a lot less depending on species depending on the individual etc then you can have a snake like him that is just worthy even more than a reptilian brained snake if it means something for you. For me, that's pretty clear the difference between the two. So, you know, it's not that your snake won't be intelligent, as intelligent as a snake. A snake without enrichment will be dumber than a snake without with enrichments it's just that they won't be as inquisitive they won't be like they won't be unstressed relaxed with a lot of stuff you know the more they see the more they are relaxed with of course there are limits to it but in great line great line big lights it's a bit the way it works so the more you show them the more relaxed they will be and the more like it will be better for us actually and better for us better for them why better for us because we will see snakes moving around being more trustworthy being more relaxed being more cur curious inquisitive etc using more than brain than something than their instinct because that's also what I found interesting and that's also why I find it, find it interesting to do with ball pythons because a lot of people are just like ball python or pet rocks. There are more than pet rocks if you give them the opportunity to because everyone knows the corn snake is super inquisitive but what about them? Well he's hiding now. But what about them? Well they are inquisitive and a lot more than you would think. And that's something really important for me and that's why also I'm not super pro rack outside some condi certain conditions because you don't have to blame rack people you don't have to blame anyone because anyone has everyone has his own way of doing the things of course we can talk to improve each other that's the way but you don't have to blame to get upset because someone is doing it in some way so that was it guys, I hope everyone is doing great, I hope 
you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, don't forget to support your SR, don't forget to join Rick is an exact pattern, don't forget to join Bright Super Stay Strong Brightlands group and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.